everyone again. Welcome to our introduction to PVC 7th video. And in this video section, just like as always, uh, we will continue from the point where we left in the 6th video. Uh, in the 6th video, we talked about uh, the warnings that occur in the system part. I mean, the second warning in the fifth video, we talked about the first warning saying that inverter power is slightly oversized. In the sixth video, we talked about what is the meaning of actually saying that uh, if we get a warning, inverter power is strongly oversized. And in the seventh video, uh, this is the warning uh, last but not least. Uh, saying that string DC power output is greater than the maximum DC input voltage of the inverter. Uh, as you can remember, uh, in our uh, system, I mean in our project, we said that we have a, a, uh, in our project, we said that we have a 24 a string totally i mean the number of strings was uh 24 and the module in series i mean the number of panel in one series just in one string i mean was a uh, 20 but uh, in the fifth and in the sixth video we said that uh, when we play with the numbers i mean when we decrease or increase the numbers we get a warning for example we said that uh, if we uh, decrease the for example number of uh, module in series or number of strings, we can get a warning saying that inverter power is slightly oversized or if we uh, continue to decrease the amount, uh, we can get a warning that inverter power is strongly oversized. But in that section, I mean, uh, for getting a warning saying that string DC power output is greater than the maximum DC output uh, input voltage of the inverter, we if we increase the number of strings or the number of module in series in that example we just uh increase the number of module i mean number of panel in one string in one series uh, from 20 to 22 and we get a uh, warning saying that the array VOC, I mean the open circuit voltage at minus 10 degree is greater than the inverter absolute maximum input voltage. And it says, as you can imagine, it says to a solution, uh, it suggests us that please consider decreasing the number of module in series. As you can remember what we do to get this warning, we increase the number of modules, the number of panel in one string from 20 to 22. And it says to prevent that situation, please consider decreasing the number of module in series. It tells us saying that please go back to 20. Because 20 was the uh, like approximately um, uh, optimal number uh, of module in one string for our system uh, i want to point out that if we noticed it says the array open circuit voltage at minus 10 degree is greater than the inverter absolute maximum input voltage uh, what it says what uh, i mean why uh, pv assist uh, instinctively saying that the uh, open circuit voltage at minus 10 degree I mean, as you can see from the uh, system part of the PVCs in the operating conditions uh, section, it gave us the uh, MPP voltage of the array, MPP uh, voltage of the array at uh, 60 degree, at 20 degree, and at minus 10 degree. And as you analyze it, when you decrease the temperature, when you uh, come from 60 degree to minus 10 degree you can easily say that since when we decrease the temperature the number of voltage that we will attain is increase pvcs tell us saying that please look at the lowest temperature that you can work with what is that it is minus 10 degree for that system and it says 
uh, I mean, sensitive behind PVCs tell us saying that uh, since in the minus 10 degree, you will attain the highest voltage level. Please look at the voltage level that you will attain from your solar LA at minus 10 degree and compare this amount of the voltage that your inverter can accept as an DC form. But what we will see is when we go to the inverter section, it says input maximum voltage is 1100 volt. But the voltage that we attain at minus 10 Celsius degree is 1200 volts. I mean, as uh, we can understand the open circuit voltage, I mean, when we uh, increase the number of modules from 20 to 22, for example, or if we increase the number of strings, uh, we will uh, attain a higher voltage value uh, at minus 10, uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius, and it will be greater than the uh, inverter maximum input voltage okay we said that when we decrease the temperature we will attain higher voltage values but i actually i wanted to uh, learn a reason behind that and i ask ourselves i mean i i ask myself that why we attain more voltage output in lower temperature and when i search about the topic actually i get variety of results i mean variety of reasons but uh, i choose two of them two main reasons the first one is because of the semiconductor properties and the second one is the decreased leakage current if you want let's start with the first one uh, the semiconductor properties and uh, it says for the semiconductor properties, uh, it says when we lower the temperature in terms of semiconductor properties, we can think like that. When we decrease the temperature, it causes a higher band gap. And this higher band gap causes an increased voltage output. It is like a chain, but to understand this chain better, let me, uh, how can I say, uh, cut the chain into two pieces and first uh, let's analyze the relationship between why we attain higher band gap at lower temperature, what is band gap, uh, what is valence band, what is conduction band. Uh, let's try to understand the details of that. Actually, as all we know, solar cells are made from semiconductor materials like the silicon, and the voltage surely generated by these cells is influenced by the properties of the semiconductor. I mean, by the properties of the material that the uh, semiconductor is made from. And as the temperature decreases, the semiconductor bent gap, which means the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band increases. But what is valence band? What is conduction band? First, valence band is, uh, as an atomic sense, it is the place where the electrons are naturally normally present. But the conduction band is the place, again, in an atomic sense, thinking in an atomic sense, it is the place where electrons move freely to conduct electricity. And there is a crucial note that to conduct electricity in an atomic uh, environment, we should know that the electrons should move from valence band to the conduction band. And let's repeat, I mean, let's uh, read the sentence again to understand better. It says, as the temperature decreases, the semiconductor's band gap, which means the energy difference between the valence band, the place where the electrons are normally present, and the conduction place where electrons move freely to conduct electricity increases. When the temperature decreases, the energy difference between valence band and the conduction band increases. And this causes a higher band gap, it says. And 
we ask ourselves what is the sense behind it it says at higher temperature at higher temperature the atoms in the lattice lattice means the atomic arrangement of the atoms the atoms in the lattice gain more thermal energy and vibrate more intensely in, uh, intensely this is a general rule we know and it says these increased vibration causes lattice to expand slightly because atoms push each other further apart in the lattice i mean when we increase the temperature atoms speak uh, atoms start vibrating uh, they are started like shaking and when they are vibrating they push each other and at the end of the day the we can say that the uh, lattice become wider lattice become to expand uh, lattice started to expand and it says when the atoms are further apart the overlap between their electron orbitals decreases surely it is very sensible when the atoms are become further apart the overlap between their orbitals decreases it is sensible and it says these reduced overlap the reduction in the overlap weakens the forces holding electron in place because the interaction between the electrons and the atomic core is weakened and thus less energy is needed to excite an electron in from the uh, balance band to the conduction band let's again make a repetition to understand better it says at higher temperature atoms uh, gain uh, more thermal energy they are become vibrating uh, and they push each other because of the because of that lattice is being uh, wider and wider i mean uh, the lattice uh, uh, is started to expand and uh, it says when the atoms uh, atoms are further apart the overlap between their orbitals decreases and this decreased overlap surely weakens the forces that holding electrons in place why why because the interaction between the electrons and the core core that hold the electrons actually hold the electrons is weakened and thus the energy that need to uh, excite an electron from the valence band into the conduction band is decreased and uh, this is explained in at higher temperature but for the lower temperature the vice versa i mean the opposite condition is valid and uh, as for coming the second relation i mean we understand why we attain higher band gap at lower temperature uh, but now it is time to understand why we attain higher voltage values when we uh, increase the, i mean when we have a higher band gap why we attain a uh, volt uh, increased uh, voltage output it says higher band gap allows for a higher open voltage because it increases the energy difference between the valence and conduction band which translate to a greater potential difference generated in solar cell as all we know what was the definition of the voltage it was the potential difference and it says i mean if there is a potential difference we can talk about the voltage and it says higher band gap allows for a higher open voltage why because it increases the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band which translate to a greater potential difference generated in the solar cell since there is a potential difference generated between the uh, valence band and the conduction band increases the amount of the voltage that we will attain surely be 
increase, surely increase. And the second reason is decreased leakage current. It says at higher, uh, the higher temperature increases the leakage current in solar cell. And it says this leakage current is an unwanted flow of currents that reduces the efficiency of the solar cell because unwanted current bypass the photovoltaic process and at lower temperature since the leakage currents are, are minimized it helps to maintain a higher voltage output okay this is end of our uh, seventh video uh, in this video uh, we talk about the warning that uh, say us the string dc power output is greater than the maximum dc input voltage of the inverter uh, we talked about how we get this uh, warning uh, and uh, we talked about the uh, sense behind how we attain higher voltage values at the lower temperature. We talked about the relation between uh, uh, having higher, uh, why we have a higher band gap at lower temperature and correlated to that, uh, why we attain an increased uh, output voltage at higher band gap by having a higher band gap. We talk about uh, what is valence band, what is conduction band, what is band gap uh, in the semiconductor materials, and we try to explain the uh, correlation between them, I mean the whole correlation between these points uh, step by step, and I hope uh, this video will be, uh, will be uh, beneficial for you to understand, to comprehend the uh, sense behind these topics. Thank you very much for listening to me. See you in another video.